How's everybody doing? Specialist O'Neill, uh, W2ORT. Today I'm going to be talking about a H250 and a LX, uh, LS671 being uh, brought together with Ethernet cable. Uh, this is a easy to make uh, field craft speaker that uh, is not amplified with power uh, but does make it so you don't have to have your hand mic strapped to your face the entire time you're trying to uh, man a net during uh, VDOC operations or something like that. So what you need to do is take an uh, Ethernet wire and uh, your H250 and crack open the middle, uh, middle part of your H250. Now the black wire down here is going to be your negative and the white wire up top is going to be your positive. And you can take any wire and your Ethernet cable and what I like to do is run it along the side and hook those two wires up. You can pick any two pairs as long as you know which one is which. Uh, I like using a solid color as my positive and then a striped color as my negative. If you are using a ASIP radio, when you hook up the wires and you tape it in, on an ASIP radio your plug has to go one way to the radio and then your ethernet to the speaker has to go another way. You cannot have them run in line with each other uh, or you'll get a squealing feedback noise. If you're using a Harris 117, uh, Fox or Golf, or a Harris 150, uh, 160, you can feed the end through the hand mic to make it look nice and clean and then uh, and tape it in place. And once it's in place, what you can do is tape down on the opposite side of the push to talk, tape down the ethernet to the hand mic so that it doesn't get pulled out, as well as to the actual cord itself to make sure nothing slides and gets pulled on as a, uh, as a tension loop. The other thing you can do if your hand mic is completely broken and you just need a speaker, you can con completely cut off the handset and just know which ones the wires uh, are white is positive for audio, black is negative, and uh, hook up your ethernet or just go right to the speaker. Now just a note about these builds, these are built so that you can still use the hand mic as intended, just with a speaker as, uh, as such. So you can see there the green wire is into the positive and the striped is into the negative and then I taped up uh, a little tension spot. And I will cover this up with tape so that that is also protected. And then because it's going to be used on a Harris radio, I was able to put it through the uh, coiled section of the H250. And now I will cut back the ethernet and hook up these two ends to the speaker. Wires here, and this is in good working condition. Once you've hooked the ethernet back up to the speaker, you can run it in through the side and keep using the housing if you want to reuse it or you can do something special like put it in a coffee can because officers love coffee uh, or something else like that. Please make sure before you are doing this that you have permission to break this equipment. Uh, this is all still military property so make sure you have permission from your uh, command and all that stuff to be able to do this except that, but it does make a great field craft speaker. If you guys have any questions please comment below. Check out my website w2rt.com and uh, check out some pictures on my Instagram uh, and make sure you go like and follow on Facebook Military Amateur Radio. Thank you guys and have a great one.